YouTube, how's it going? I am back with another seven-round NFL mock draft. This one is for the Carolina Panthers. Late first-round pick for them. Um, also, we're doing a fan-voted mock draft. Link in the description. Going at a slower pace than these videos. Give you guys time to vote. But uh, let's let's just get to it. Who the Panthers are going to take in the first round? You know, they failed to get Norwell back, and their offensive line kind of needed help as it was. So I went with a lineman here. I went with Isaiah Wynn. Uh, offensive line from Georgia. The guy could play guard, play tackle. I really like Isaiah Wynn. He, he's a great offensive lineman. He, he's a lock in the first round, I think. Um, unless linemen start to drop a little bit. If Quentin Nelson drops, pushes everybody back, kind of. Um, but I, I see him going in the first round. I don't think he gets by the Vikings pick. I think uh, I think he goes earlier in that, obviously, here. But his ability to play tackle or guard, I think he starts day one at guard. Uh, teams like him there. So the Panthers... Maybe not the most appealing pick. Lyman's always a little boring, but you need it. You fan, the fans out there, they know that you need it, you need it losing Norwell. And you, I think you already needed that help there anyway. So Isaiah Wynn would be a good pickup. Uh, looking at the second round, Rasheem Green, defensive lineman, USC. I like him a lot in the Panthers. This is a guy that can play inside or on the edge. Uh, and I think on the Panthers, I, I like him at D-tackle, but he can play either or. But I, I think it would be a good fit losing uh, Star Latule. Big loss there, but you can easily get it back here. Rasheem Green is an excellent football player. I don't expect him to get out of the second round. Next pick, Equinemia St. Brown, wide receiver Notre Dame. I like him on the Panthers a lot. I like him with Cam Newton. Um, this is a guy with uh, kind of big range. I think some teams may view him as a second rounder. He could go second round. And, you know, inconsistencies, maybe some drops this last year. Could Some teams could view him as maybe a fourth rounder. But So I put him right in the middle there. This would be a great pick. I like him with Cam Newton, downfield target, but can do more than that. He's got good routes, catch that comeback, catch that back shoulder on the sideline. Um, and he's got pretty good speed, too, for a taller guy. Very athletic. He's the prototype wide receiver. Uh, somebody can really fall, fall in love with this guy during his draft process. I like him on the Panthers a lot. It's, it's exactly what they need. You know, they want those taller receivers, but they haven't been the most athletic guys. Well, here you go. And you get some speed downfield. This makes too much sense to me uh, with Cam Newton. I'd like it. Third, another third rounder, Armani Watts, safety from Texas A&M. Um, they needed DBs in general. They got themselves corner free agency. Then the, here we go, we get Armani Watts. For a third rounder, I think he can start day one. Um, very good, very good football player. Really the only weakness to him is his technique on tackling. Sometimes he put his head down. Maybe he goes for the big hits, but I think it can be coached. I think he'll be fine. Overall, he's a good player. That's kind of just trying to find weaknesses because that's what we have to do with all these prospects. But... Um, could potentially go second round, but I think third round is more like a good football player from A&M. Fifth round, they do not have a fourth round. Uh, fifth round, J.C. Jackson, cornerback Maryland. Get some more cornerback depth that I think they need, but it's a guy that can play early. Uh, very physical, very good at pressing at the line, but also good in coverage as well. But, uh, you know, these guys that are, that are physical and can press at the line as long as they check out okay with size, um, the NFL teams really value them. So this guy really isn't talked about enough. He could go earlier in this, but since there's not a lot of buzz, I think 4-5 or five is more of his, his range for round round-wise. Um, yeah, again, you know, pressing at the line is very impressive. Some certain defensive back coach or defense coordinators will really like it about him. So Panthers grab him. Some depth can play early on in his career. He can play outside or play the slot. I like J.C. Jackson from Maryland. Uh, sixth round, Marcel Frazier, edge from Missouri. Another guy, this is kind of best case, could go fifth round. I think he could play DN for them. They need some uh, younger younger talent at, at the edge rush position, which would be DN for them. Um, I like to fit here with Frazier. He could play off the ball as well, maybe a 3-4 team, but I, I prefer him maybe playing off the line. Um, but either way, there's a lot of guys in the draft that can go either way. There's some guys that never even played on the line that I think could do it, and then the opposite. So um, I like Frazier as... Uh, is an early depth guy, but could play. I, I, I see a fit there on, on the Panthers. Next pick, Chase Edmonds, running back Fordham. Uh, very good combine. Sleeper running back, getting a lot of buzz, catch the ball to the backfield. They need another, another running back. It's it's a seventh round. They don't need one that bad. It's just depth. Um, they can definitely sign another one behind uh, McCaffrey, but even with if they do, they can use him. Maybe a future second string guy. He's been getting a lot of buzz. Could possibly sneak into the sixth round. Somewhere on day three. We got one more pick for the Panthers, and it is Cam Phillips, wide receiver of Virginia Tech. Another guy not being talked about a lot. Uh, he, interesting guy because he's very athletic, very very good playmaker, very good during the season for Virginia Tech. 
Um, I think there's a slight injury concern. Didn't do anything at the Combine. Didn't play his last game of the year. But, uh, like, during the year, he was looking like a mid-round at the latest guy. But, I guess, injury. Uh, the depth of the receiver class kind of pushes him down, too. People people really that say that the receiver class isn't really the greatest, it's because there's not too much star potential. Like, I really only have one guy up there. But then, other than that, it's it's depth, though. Like, it's got a bunch of guys that can play right now. They're not going to be... Uh, rookie of the year, they they could be, but they're not going to be, they're not going to wow, they're not going to be Pro Bowlers right away, but they're going to be able to play. They're going to give give you some good good snaps. Um, but so Phillips gets pushed down for that reason. He's he's a very good target. Really can run all the routes. I think he can play in the slot. I think he can play outside. I think he goes in this range just because uh, slight injury concern and the depth of the receiver class. I I like the receiver class. So. Panthers could use a couple. They definitely need a day one starter, which I I love that Equinemius St. Brown pick. Uh, I mean, I love all these picks. That's why I made them. But I really like that pick. Like him with Cam Newton. But that'll do it for the Panthers mock. Stay tuned for more videos. Got plenty of other draft videos, offseason videos to cover. And we already got a lot on the channel. So go check that out if you haven't already. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. But that'll do it for this one. Goodbye.